Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Donnie B, and I'm a founder of Learn Pro Recording, the site that not only shows you how to do a little recording, but more importantly, how to get paid for it. That is correct. It is. Uh, it, this is all about the business of making music. Uh, it's for audio engineers and music producers and studio owners to help you build, grow, and scale your business into something that could possibly take over your nine-to-five job. I've got something special for you today. I've got a gift for you just for hanging out with me today. It's a, it's a quick PDF. It's a seven-step guide to building and growing and scaling your studio, your audio engineering or music production business into something that could possibly take over your day job. Go grab it. It's 100% free. Go to learnprorecording.com forward slash studio growth formula. It's there for you. And uh, what we're going to discuss today is I want to discuss the difference between recording through and with an analog console compared to strictly staying in the box in the DAW. So that's what we're going to talk about today. But before we do that, you know we got to run the intro. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Donnie B here. Uh, what I want to talk to you about today is um, we actually have a band in the studio today. Uh, they've been here for three days uh, doing an album project or an EP project. Let's call it what it is. Um, and they are... Um, they, they wanted to record through the analog console and monitor on the analog console. The engineer that is working with them today, is um, he's, uh, he's used to being in the box. And it has literally taken him a few days to understand the concept of wrapping his head around of not being in the computer. And it's, it, it, it was kind of funny yesterday. You know, the first day I was like, okay, this is how we do it. This is, the, you know, everything's here. Stop looking in the box. Stop looking inside the computer. Stop changing the faders in the computer. Use the faders on the console. Use the sends on the console for the headphones. It, it's kind of, and I, it made me think about this, and it, it's just, it is kind of funny. I'm not laughing at you, Ryan. I'm laughing with you, okay? So, but it's kind of, I understand it. I understand that. Now, I come from, you guys may know my backstory, I come from the live world. Uh, I toured for quite a while. I, I was mixing on analog consoles. I was mixing for on a house for a little bit and mixing some monitors for a little bit. And everything was analog, and I understood the signal path. I understood where it was coming from, where it was going to, and all, all everything. So I think coming into the studio was a little bit easier for me because I understand that signal flow path and how it works. But, you know, newer engineers that, have come in, that are coming up now, they're, they're strictly in a computer. And that's all they've ever seen. That's all they've ever known. That's all they've ever felt, and that they understand. Now, look, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not bashing the difference between analog and digital or DAWs. And I'm not specifically. I'm not specifically talking about Pro Tools or Logic or Luna or or FL whatever. I'm talking about taking your taking your digital work, signal, your workflow, and putting it onto an analog console. If you guys can see behind me here. That is an analog console. And I've got right here, I've got a Pro Tools session. Notice the Pro Tools session, all the faders are at zero and all the pans are straight up. There's absolutely no pans, absolutely no, <laughs> you don't see any pans in the box because we, those are all actually routed out to the console. So if you look closely, channel one, the kick drum goes to channel one on the console. The out is number one. The, the next one is the kick bottom or the quick, what they call the kick boom. It goes to channel two on the console. So when we come back to looking at it on the console, channel one is the kick, channel two is the kick boom, channel three is the snare, and you mix on the console. You monitor on the console. Now, this is actually quite cool because you do get the best of both worlds. Let's say your favorite reverb is Capital Chambers by UAD. Okay, pull it up run it out to a channel on your console. You can still feed it inside your DAW and then you can monitor it on your console. And at the end of the day, what we do is we will print the mix from the console back into Pro Tools. And we can add on the, on, on the subgroup coming back into Pro Tools, you know, we could add things like tape emulation or, or an SSL bus compressor for the overall mix and that kind of thing. It's pretty cool. Um, that's actually considered a hybrid mix. Um, and I, I, I do that. I'm guilty of that. I do enjoy when I track, when I record, like right now they're recording a full bass. Well, it's, uh, it's drums, bass, and guitar. Um, they're mostly focusing. These are the basic tracks. So they're mostly fo focusing on drums and bass, mostly drums because the drums sound 
sick. These drums, the uh, the drummer brought his own drums. It's a it's a pretty decent drum kit, and and it, it's just it's it's a massive drum kit. It's pretty cool. There'll be pictures of it. We'll put up on the website later on. Um, we are at ES Audio Recording Studios. In case you guys don't know, uh, we're we're at ES Audio Recording Studios in Los Angeles, California. You can check it out. Go to esaudio.com and just see what see what we got going on. Um, we got two two rooms that are um analog recording rooms, and uh, we actually have tape machines. If you guys want to get super analog, we can do that here at ES Audio, and it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of work, but it's nostalgic. It's a lot of fun. Now listen. I'm not bashing, again, I'm not bashing uh, DAWs. Uh, Pro Tools has its place. Logic has its place. I am I myself am a Pro Tools person. Uh, <laughs> I do enjoy Pro Tools. Um, I don't enjoy Avid, not like none of us do. But Pro Tools, when it works, when it's working properly, it's it's okay. It reminds me of an analog console. So if it's got to be quick and dirty or we're just throwing some vocals onto a two-track, Pro Tools all day. Um but if I'm recording a live band or if I'm recording drums specifically, I want to have the analog world. I want everything in the analog world. I've got outboard compressors. I've got outboard preamps. I got Neves, SSLs, APIs. I got some boutique stuff, you know, some La Chapelles, and there's the, the Purple Biz. There's just a bunch of different preamps in there. Again, if you guys want to go check out the studio, go check out the studio. See what we got going on over there. But um, look, this is um, so this was kind of this was quite funny yesterday when. Uh, I went in, you know, Ryan came to, to ask me a question and, and I went in there and he had, he had started mixing in the box as well as monitoring on the console, which was kind of, it was kind of funny, but at the same time, you know, it, you have to start thinking outside of the box. I know that sounds like a, like a commercial for Apple or something, but you got to start thinking outside of the box, the box being the computer, this little thing that you're looking at me right now, you know, uh, to start thinking outside of that, there's a, there's a whole world out here. You know, and and it can be cool, even if you guys get a small mixer and you you just sub you 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 know you sum things from your DAW through the mixer back into your DAW. It gives it analog gives it a special a special vibe. I don't know. There's something about the the audio having to run through circuits and wires in a in an analog console that give it something special, rather than just keeping it all ones and zeros inside the box. So that 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 is a cool thing, and I think we've done. We've done some so we've done some hybrid mixing videos before. If you guys want to go back and look it up on the channel here, um, I, I you know they're not that great. I want to do, I want to spend some time and build one and grow it and 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 really do it up and and show you. If you guys are in my community, the membership and community, we do this quite often in there. Um, by the way, if uh, if you guys want to, I've got a button here. Hang on, let me press this button. Go check out the membership. It's so super cheap, so super. It's just super cheap, and there's just every week new stuff gets put into the membership and the community, and uh, the community. All right, so the membership, right? The membership has the membership has stuff like this, um, training, weekly training. It's got monthly workshops, monthly master classes, uh, uh, monthly live group coaching calls. It's pretty dope. Uh, I think you guys would get a lot of value out of being in there if you, if, you know, if you want some some interaction with some uh, with your peers, some interaction with me. Interaction with uh, other the other some of the other engineers that work here they're all in the community yeah the community is exactly what it sounds like it's just a community of us the uh, the community has uh, monthly mix challenges where the 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 mix the mix the, the whoever wins the the mix challenge for the month actually wins something cool uh, this month's prize I think is a, a set of JBL headphones some noise canceling headphones which are pretty cool um, so go check that out man go go look at it just uh, go to uh, let me bring that up again sorry. Um, go to learnprorecording.com slash membership. Just take a look. Uh, it's pretty cheap. It's 27 bucks. You know, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, again, 100% guarantee. If you don't like it, I'll give you your money back, dude. It's not about the money. It's about me sharing my knowledge and experience with you and helping you to grow, build, and scale your studio into something that is gonna, it's gonna, gonna help you provide. You know, help you quit your day job, man. Come on, quit your day job. So, I, if you guys ever have any questions about any of this stuff, you can actually email me at info at learnprorecording.com. I'm here for you. Um, and let me know if you want me to do a, a full-blown video, a uh, full-blown YouTube thing about the hybrid mixing, the analog recording, and that kind of thing. We can set that up. We can actually bring that up, and we can make it happen. So let me know. Um, if you guys, again, if you guys have any questions about the the difference, um, uh, you know, with with the, the headphones. The headphones is a... Is a 
I think that was the biggest thing for for um for us to figure out to this weekend is that to fold back from the console to the drummer's headphones so that he could hear the things he needs. You know, if he needed more if he needed more bass or more click in his headphones, we actually had to dial it up for him a little bit. You know, we we're only sending him only sending him a stereo pair to his headphones. We had to dial it up. You know, so it, it's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's it's pretty nostalgic. Um, that's how it was done in the you know the 70s and 80s before digital became like the big master thing that's out there now. Um, and it, again, it doesn't matter on the DAW. Absolutely doesn't matter. We could take Logic and route it out to the console. We could take you know Luna and route it out to the console. FL we could route whatever. Every every DAW ha- it allows you to route each channel out individually to wherever you want to send it. So that's what we do. So, again, if you guys have any questions, please reach out. It's info at LearnProRecording.com. My name is Donnie B, and I'm out of here. We'll see you guys on the blog post on Wednesday. Look for, uh, we got something cool coming up, and I I, I can't really share it with you just yet. Uh, March is going to be a cool month. We got some things that's going to happen weekly, and you guys are all involved in that. So come check it out, and just go check out the membership. That's where the the cool weekly thing is about to happen. So it's going to be awesome. Go check it out again. I'll send. Uh, let me give you that one more time, just in case, because this is uh, this is the cool stuff that's going on right now. The membership. Go check it out. LearnProRecording.com forward slash membership. Go grab that. And uh, like I said, man, March is going to be March is going to be some cool stuff. Can't talk to you about it right now. Next week I'll tell you about it because it's going to happen on Tuesdays. Every Tuesday in March, a thing is going to happen, and you guys are going to enjoy it. So I appreciate you. Thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes. Again, my name is Donnie B. I'm out of here. Peace.